people that I never knew. Well, he's undoubtedly New Zealand's top-selling country artist with four platinum and 14 gold albums to his name. Now with his 29th album release, I believe, please welcome to the cafe, Dennis Marsh. Yes! Congratulations! Uh, it's so good to have you here, Dennis. Yeah, that is such an achievement. But you actually started off being an apprentice carpenter. I did indeed. So how's your building skills? Oh, not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad, yeah. Still, good to have still a can dig a hole. <laughs> and how'd you go from that into country music? It hurt my back. Yeah. So a doctor said, you can't do building anymore. Right. So I went looking for another, and this was it, music. We got, got um, asked to go to a country and western club. Yeah. I said, man, I don't want to go there. It's for old people. For <laughs> <laughs> people. I turned up, I tell you what, I got one, two, three, four people out of the band were still playing for me last year. No way. Out, out of the band that was on stage. So how long ago was that? That was like... 29 years ago. Gosh, that's, that's extraordinary, incredible. isn't it? Yeah, the same guys. I just couldn't believe what I saw. All these Maoris, Maori guys, all playing in a band. And did you know you could sing, though, before you got there? Yeah, sort of. Right. You know, not, not that well. Yeah. But then it grew from then. And when did you figure out that you actually had a career in country music? Well, 89, I won a New Zealand Country Music Entertainer of the Year. Well, that'll do it, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you still have to work hard, eh? Yeah. It's, it's the... the workload you got to do to get where you're going and in those days you're singing in the hotels covered with smoke and can't see you know that sort of time and that was my apprenticeship right yeah, yeah singing in the smoky pubs oh, and yeah. halls I imagine and yeah. look you have worked and sang alongside some incredible people over the years some yes. fantastic stories you could probably tell <laughs> as well what are some of the more memorable experiences that you've had doing country music i toured with eddie lowe toured with uh the legends yes you know the legends so they forgot I'd become a legend. <laughs> so I've got, I've got a thing that says Dennis Marsh legend. Legend. <laughs> should carry that around. Excuse yeah, I me. Should. <laughs> Here I am. But touring with them was really good. Nice. For me to get mm. known. And it must be quite nice too, because you know you've had so many successful albums, and you know, I mean, this one here, I believe. Yes. Where is that sitting in the charts at the moment? I think it's at number two. Right. Who's at number at one? Moment, I think the fellas in the way. Um, Ed Sheeran. Uh, who's he? Uh, who's he? Yeah. I'm not sure. Who are we about? <laughs> so, who would you say would be your musical idols? Who do you look up to? I look up to the big country names like um, Marty Robbins, Woody Nelson. Elvis Presley was number one, mm. and I'm influenced by Elvis on a lot of these songs. Right. And I thought to myself, well, if he can do it, maybe, just maybe, well, I can put out a, a gospel album as well. You know, when, when it comes to the gospel and the country, which one do you prefer out of them? Well, both. Right. You can do a country crossover. Yes. Country gospel, gospel country. And um, I actually came from rock and roll. And when I did that move, I'd never have gone back. I'd stayed with country. Nice. Your boots yeah. would indicate that you've come from rock and roll, those flames on them. Yeah. With the gospel country thing, I mean, why do they those two cross over? It seems like a weird genre to be crossing over. It, it is. It is quite mm. a weird. But now they've got country rock, they've got country... all sorts of things that are joining in with country. You can so. throw a country in with everything. Yeah, so it's got that feel, no matter what you do. Mm. I think Ed's... I can change some of... Eat shoes into country and make it look sound country. Yeah, well. yeah, you probably you know, could. Yes, you're right. Yeah. 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 It's it sort of you can do it rock or you can do it mm. just straight um, four four, just country, country style. Yeah. And you know, look, what else do you do? Because I heard that you can also drive trucks. Yeah, trucks. I did do, do, do a run from here to Taupo, no, yes. to, to Rangi. Wow. Turn around and bring another truck back and do that for a little while. Okay, and I, I saw you two eyeing up the fish pie. Are you good in the kitchen? <laughs> can you cook? I, I can cook as well, yes, yeah. yeah. So, um, but only for myself. Others right. don't want to eat what I cook. <laughs> so when you're doing your long trips, because I know you've been driving around a lot recently, yep. touring, what do you listen to when you're on your trips? Me. Mm. You yeah, listen to me. yourself? Yeah, yeah. I just so that I can remember the word. That's how that one went. <laughs> I love it. And uh, what do you like the most about this album here? I believe. I mean, you know, it's, it's a, what number is it? Twenty nine. Twenty nine yeah. album. And I always notice too when I because I do the country show on the breeze and I, I look at what's happening at country music. Uh, you sell truckloads of your music, don't you? Um, yeah, we'll trade down to trailers now. Right. Not the truck. <laughs> Not the truck, just trailers. <laughs> so what's next for you? Um, 
an another album later on. Yeah. I've got a few gigs coming up. Um, one up in Ōrewa, and it's going for the youth in Ōrewa as well. Nice. So that's coming up pretty, pretty soon. Going to Tauranga, and that show's been sold out for the last six weeks. Wow. And then I'm off down to Napier, Hastings. So it's just those are just next week. So it's really cool. I'm looking forward to it. Do you have another genre in you think? Or are you going to stick with what you're doing now? No, I, I can just change back to country or I can do a mm. country rock one if I need to. Nice. OK, yeah. well, to wrap, Dennis, um, Brayden, who's on the show with me, and I are off to the New Zealand Gold Guitar Awards to wow. do some judging yeah. very soon. And I know you've been inducted into the <coughs> Hall of Fame, Country Music yeah. Hall of Fame down there. So what do we need to be aware of when we are judging? Can you give us some tips? I think the best thing is to be able to feel it. Okay. If you can feel it, well, you'll know whether someone's singing in tune or not. You'll know whether they're on, in, um, you know, you, you... In time? Yeah, in time. Yeah. Yeah. First, first, I got a chance. This lady said, oh, you've, I've got no musical ability. Oh, OK. <laughs> so the year after, I'd won country music in the year. So... <laughs> Did you go back and go... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I didn't do that at all. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> no. <laughs> No, Dennis, no, I'll take that, feel it, yeah, yeah you're right. Feel it. And I think what else he's saying is don't believe everything that judges are telling you. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, it. thank Dennis, you, Dennis. it's been an absolute pleasure having you in the studio. Now, Dennis's latest <laughs> album, I Believe, is in stores now. Such a gorgeous voice and what a character too. Treat yeah. yourself to a coffee. Yeah, a New Zealand legend. <laughs>